Alright, I'm making this video to show you who the real traitor is, you know, the one who betrays Soma in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and what happens if you get it wrong, which in my opinion is the more interesting outcome. So we've got these three individuals, and during their personal quests they all seem alright, mostly, but the imposter reveals himself towards the end, where he prematurely kills the captive during the interrogation. Christians don't curse. So despite the fact that one of them is called Berna, um, she is not the traitor, it's actually Galen. So the right choice is clearly to accuse him. You may doubt your decision initially, because they all act like they're innocent until the very end. In fact, let me play everyone's reaction real quick. Leaf. You have betrayed me, Leaf. Soma, that's not true. A grown man should have a better grasp of his jealousy. It must not drive him to madness and destruction. But with you, every one of our warriors, our slaughtered people are dead because you could not be where I am now. I have only ever served you, Soma. I would never betray my clan, my family. I am a man of honor. And ambition. Hmm. <gasps> Birna, you betrayed me. <laughs> No. Wait, I could never, never. My heart grew so warm here, in spite of the cold. You do not love me as I love you. But love is not possession. You love me? You admire me? Even under your blade. I would do anything to stay here with you, anything. You would do anything to get an edge. Say anything to spend one more day alive. It's how you served me so well. <laughs> Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. But then, once you're done assassinating, what was his name, Windmug or something? Wigmund. Um, Galen, assuming that you didn't kill him, will reveal himself and try to kill the remaining innocent advisor. Galen, what are you doing? We're at the mountain's peak, Soma, with room for one alone. So I claim this summit, Jarl's Corner. I claim Grant Bridge. You fucking rodent, Galen. It was you. You let those Saxon insects into our home! You betrayed us! It was preordained, Soma. Like the sunset, like the bird's flight. You coward! You let an innocent die in your place! You have your sibling in the bloodspring at your mercy. How could you waste your family so easily? There is no river of blood deep enough to keep me from my destiny. Only one verse of this song remains. It is my destiny to rule. It is your destiny to die! All of you! We all have our one day. After you deal with him, you can either agree or refuse to send him to Valhalla, which makes no difference as far as I can tell. How? Such a heavy price to pay for one so vile. I climbed to the peak of the mountain. To my... my destiny. Your vision took you as far as the mountain's peak, but there was only room for one to stand. 
I am the one standing. Please, Soma. My life in the lap of the gods. Please. Leaf! Leaf, you're alive! These wounds are deep. You're lucky to be breathing. Not luck. Tactics. Evil men like to talk. Let's get him back to the longboats. We're going home. And then we have two different endings of the quest based on whether you chose right or wrong. Here's what happens if you were wrong. Mm. His wounds are deep, but he'll recover. I should have guessed it was Galen. If I had trusted my instincts, if I had dealt with all this alone, or discovered him sooner... Galen deceived us all. He was a practiced liar. We killed the wrong warrior, Eivor. A terrible truth that tastes of sooth and ashes. Do not think I blame you. I held a blade. The decision was my own. Now, I must explain myself to my people. The cost of war is always high, and victory can be sour. But you have your city back, and Wickman is dead. As may be all trust in me. After all, why should any trust me if I cannot trust my closest friends? It's a lonely life to live without trust. It is the life of anyone with sense. But you are sustained by your people, Soma. To deem no person worthy of trust is to starve yourself. Thank you for standing at my side in this. You have my oath and my arm in the battles to come, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Good. One day I may need them. And here's what happens if you were right. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And, there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Eivor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. 
And now Grand Brit is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Drenya. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. So, that was it. In case you're wondering what I think about the game so far, well, I'm about 12 hours into it, mostly doing the main quest, and I'm not terribly excited, to be honest. This quest is probably the most interesting part of the journey since I landed on English shores, so we'll see how it goes from here. But for now, it's just okay. And there's some graphical issues, like weird eyes. I, I don't know if that's, if that's gonna be patched or fixed with drivers or something, but it, it's distracting sometimes. All right, enough of that. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my supporters and YouTube members. And until the next video, stay tuned and be good.